In Hollywood movies, two to three dogs that all look alike are used for each role. Each dog has certain strengths that will make the story come to life. Being able to read a dog's body language is important so you can catch certain facial and body expressions and know how to place the dog so the camera can catch the emotions you're looking for. For example, the director needs the dog to look left with excitement while staying in place. So, on action, you wait a couple of seconds and give the dog a cue that gets him excited without moving his body, while lifting his ears and showing a vibrant look in his eyes. If the director asked only for the dog to look left naturally, then you could walk to his left off camera and his eyes would naturally follow you. Take some time now to try out this test on your dog. When your dog is at his most active, ask him to sit and stay while you walk in a full circle around him. Next, get him as much exercise as you can to get him as tired as you can. Then ask him to sit and stay while you walk a full circle around him. Did you notice the difference in his attitude? Now let's discuss the importance of basic obedience. Of course, no dog can work on set without a good knowledge of basic commands such as sit, stay, stand, down, and come. Can you imagine trying to get the dog to look left naturally but he just won't stay long enough for the cinematographer to get a good shot? The attention span of most dogs is around 15 minutes, usually only 5 minutes for huskies and hyperactive dogs. This means that all training needs to be done within this time frame. When you're on set, the day can last 10 hours. So how do you get the dog working for hours when he only has an attention span of 15 minutes? Of course, your dog won't be in front of the camera for 10 hours at a time. You would set up the scene meaning that you go over where the dog needs to go and what he needs to do in that scene without the dog so you have a clear picture in your mind. You can do one practice run with the dog before shooting begins. Remember, a dog can only repeat a task a short number of times in a row before he loses interest and refuses to continue. So don't do too many practice runs before the shoot. The dog should have a crate in a quiet spot so he can relax in between shoots during the day. Your basic training will help you to ask the dog to stay for longer periods of time, but the dog will still need lots of breaks throughout the day. Movie dogs are considered working dogs, and this means that no one should be petting the dog unless it's part of the scene being shot. Being petted by strangers is another stress that you should avoid adding to the dog's already stressful and tiresome day. Have you ever met a guide dog or seen police dogs? The handlers don't allow people to pet their dogs when they're working. It distracts them from their job.